Okay. Hello, everybody who's listening. Uh, welcome to the Untitled Podcast. Uh, currently, we don't have a name. I'm going to start off by saying my name is Ernest, a.k.a. Simba. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a number of different subjects. Uh, currently, the first one we're going to be talking about is X. But before we go into that, uh, I've been gaming for about maybe 10 years or so. Currently, I play mostly MMORPGs, uh, so I'm well-versed in that subject. Uh, currently, I'm an IT consultant over in the Triangle area, and over to my another, another one of my co-hosts. Um, okay. I am Michael. Uh, my Steam name, which is what a lot of people call me, is Legion. Um, I've been gaming myself for 20, over 20 years. Um, about six years ago, I got into competitive gaming pretty heavily. So I play a lot of, a really large variety of competitive games. Um, and I am an entertainment connoisseur. I love my movies, my books, whatever. So we'll be talking about a lot of that. Um, and I guess we'll go to Zeke. Hola, I'm Zeke. I am also known as Banta. So the full thing is banterific. I've been gaming since I was three. Now I'm 22. So Goddamn, three. Three, man, yeah. Age of Empires on my dad's lap. So, uh... I play pretty much anything under the sun as long as it's good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, that's a pretty broad category. That's, that's a pretty cute story I, about also, you on your dad's lap. I know, right? I'm also the, the, the VN connoisseur here, so I can talk about that. So now we're going to Joe. Hey, I'm Joe, and people call me, uh, God Emperor as a boss. Okay. Okay. Nobody calls. All right. Cut. Cut. <laughs> cut it out. No. 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 Go. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll let you. I'll let you have it. I'm. Uh... I am you a weak. gamer of a type that has been playing games for roughly twenty years, and I am pretty Still freaking bad. good, if I do say so myself. So I mean, but we say so as well. You're not. Um. Uh, well, yeah, that's debatable. But anyway, yeah, that's that's all that's all there is to know about me. Really, there really is nothing else. Okay. Uh, and back to Ernest. All right. So the first subject I wanted to talk about is uh, sort of near and dear to me. Uh, I'm in the hip hop culture a lot, and uh, recently I haven't been I haven't had a chance to express my thoughts on. Uh, X's recent death. Uh, so recently what happened is he was unfortunately uh, shot down in the streets about 12 minutes from actually where I grew up. Um, uh, I took it I took it a bit rough, uh, not because uh, of him in particular, but because of just who I saw in him. Uh, one of my best friends, Mikey, uh, reminded me of him a lot. Uh, so Maybe 30 minutes after I found out he died, I had to give him a call because, once again because, you know, it, it was just like 12 minutes away from my hood and, you know, at the same place and where we used to hang out. Uh, I just, it, it's, it's absolutely gutting that it, it did happen. He was only 20 years old, which is super young. Yeah. It, 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 was, it was crazy. And what... What embarrasses me the most about it is just in hip hop culture, it was just, it was just normal. And when the death of a 20, 21 year old is normal, um, you know, it, it really breaks me up inside because, you know, maybe like not even, not even an hour after his death, uh, Twitter or, you know, a bunch of other people, you know, got into arguments on, you know, the, they were happy that he died even though he was such a young young man uh just because he had a dark past what? or he was it a gang thing uh no well it, it it wasn't necessarily a gang thing when when they found out or and not even after uh they were they were more so happy because he just did really shitty things and once again he's i i, I know i'm giving an excuse but he was young like he had allegations of beating his pregnant wife as well as um 
uh, beating up a homosexual in jail in prison and he kind of gloated about it just because uh, I mean I'm not and I'm not entirely sure what his reasonings were uh, and to me they it doesn't matter it doesn't excuse them however I mean he he had a bright future ahead of him he made amazing music music that my brother and and I just you know often listen to and connect with and and it, I mean, if, if if someone close to me died and they had a troubled or complicated past, I just uh, I wouldn't feel comfortable with people outside looking in and saying that his death was a good thing. It was for the best. So it, you know, yeah. I, I I am a bit embarrassed with the uh, hip hop community. I see, that. I see a lot of that um, on the internet. It's kind of like we're. I'll, about a lot of things we're kind of like we have a barrier between us and reality we're kind of like we look at at death as or or tragedies with such like a tongue-in-cheek attitude now because we see it we see it so often because of the internet so yeah you, yeah what about him reminded you of mikey uh I, i'm not sure if any of you know mikey uh, i know mike does uh but you know he just had this it wasn't very i mean it was like a depressing sort of likability about him uh x wrote a lot of depressing music that touched people uh emotionally and you know sometimes his music helped people get through depression and suicidal thoughts uh and that's sort of the stuff that mikey and i went through together and overcame and you know if a guy is going you know through his art if he's able to touch those people and make them feel better about their lives through his music, I feel like that's that's a big boon uh, to have in the community, and and for him to be taken away like that is is heartbreaking. Yeah, for sure. By the way, um, I don't think the images are rolling. Yeah, yeah, that's me. That's my phone. I was just like. I'm just so passionate about it. Like I, I completely forgot that I actually do my fucking job. Um, but you know, I don't want I don't want to bring the right. <laughs> I don't want to keep the 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 podcast down on that. And I know I wanted to start off with that just because I wanted to get it over with, and then we can go on with the jokes. But uh, I hope that you know X's death uh, can help the community grow uh, further, and they actually can learn from this because there. Are, I mean, even now there are a bunch of like you know. Uh, we call them littles like very young kids out there rapping about gun violence and gang violence when you know there's no repercussions in place no one's no one's checking them none of their ogs are checking them no one's helping them out telling them hey i mean maybe you should chill out um and x used to and you know antagon antagonize other people um but there's no excuse for it uh we shouldn't be gunning down each other in the streets that's all i have to say about it yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, I saw that music video he, they put out posthumously that was pretty ominous. Yeah. The sad music video. Yeah, it was rough, man. I actually listened to his, uh, some of his. Yeah, uh, his, his shit. Particularly good, one of his songs. Yeah. Rest in peace, X. All right, we can move on to uh, battle royales. Um, I'm not sure who wants to introdu- introduce now, this. Now, Battle Royales! Battle Royales! The fucking uh, best genre in video game <laughs> history. A genre which no one, no game, and no other genre can combat. Mm-hmm. A genre... Will, will they ever? <laughs> no. the question. No, they can't. Because it's such a good... It's such a good genre. It, it's so well made. It, it's not difficult. It, it's not very easy to play it. You have to have strategy. You have thing... to have. You have to have guts. You have to have courage. Okay. 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 I got it. Yeah. <laughs> one one thing about it definitely is that the developers have to put in a lot of work for their for their games to be successful. Mm-hmm. That was their quotes as well. All right. Um, okay. Okay. You can, okay. You can. You can. No, uh, I'm done. I'm done. Zeke. Zeke. Zeke the Extraordinaire Battle Royale. <laughs> The By the way, Royale. he's very good at battle royales. Yeah, he uh, plays them like all the time, right? I I don't play battle royales all the time. I when he does, though. but you play Fortnite all the time. Wait, is, isn't it true that Fortnite. you play Fortnite <laughs> in secret? God damn! Yeah. Bro, how do you, how do you not see this coming, Zeke? I, I I always you see you it. listen to Khalid and you play Fortnite. That's all you do. 
<laughs> that's all I do is listen to Khalid. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, I listen to Khalid while I play Fortnite. You know, yeah. young, dumb, and broke. <laughs> I mean, we have we have a good opportunity here with this podcast. We can go over this particular. Um, we can go over battle rounds with two different completely player bases. We have the best player here, and then we have the worst one. So, how do you feel about battle rounds, Joe? <laughs> um, I would have to say that the you know, they're kind of boring. That's uh, that's about it, really. Well, that was a great conversation. I know, right? Back to like, you. Back to you. Well, like, I, I, play, I played a lot of PUBG, but then you know, it got boring, and then Fortnite I thought you liked like, PUBG a lot. Like, well, obviously not. You know, what mean, do you mean, obviously not? Not yeah, really. Like, you played PUBG well, many, many well, hours. When was, when was the last time you seen me to play PUBG? No, yeah, okay, you're, Does you're it talking about right? it currently, like, but you you summarize it uh, very quickly. You just said it's boring, but you didn't. I mean. You're talking about maybe currently, but you used at least you could say you used to like PUBG right, a lot. Right, fine, so. fine, fine. I'll tell you the truth, right here, right now. I would like Fortnite if I wasn't so bad at it. Okay. That's would you the, really? Oh my God, would you really? Shot with truth right right now. The truth comes uh, out. It's uh, the tower. Okay, it's that's it. Confession. I would like, I, but I'm so awful at it. And, so yeah, you just don't play is it, it just is because. It because you're bad? Okay, the, well, the well, skill set required to excel in that game is is quite high. Yeah, well, the skill set. And his def- and his, his defense. Like, yeah, it's quite. And intense. his defense. People are going so crazy about these games that you need to practice a lot. Like everybody's practicing a lot on totally voluntarily. And if you actually want to be able to compete, maybe I'm wrong because I don't play them that much. But I'm I'm going to assume that the average player base is going to play them a lot more then I would like to practice it. Mm. So it, it might it might be harder to get into it. Nah, one. I mean that that goes for MOBAs or any other game though. Like being yeah, people, like practicing. That's just that's just competitive nature. Yeah, people are grinding games these days. Like I I mean same with CSGO. Even just like ladder CSGO, you have to practice. <laughs> like not not even counting like ESL and stuff. So uh, real quick, just to clarify why we're we're kind of going through these subjects here is we're we kind of have an idea, and I'm talking to the viewers. Um, we kind of have ideas on what we're going to be talking about, and right now we have these particular subjects that we would probably talk about on our own anyway. But we're tr- uh, trying to see, we're trying to go through them and kind of feel them out here. And this this is something that we talk about a lot, so. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to say that really quick. Yeah. But um, currently, what's your favorite battle royale, Fanta? Me? Uh, I mean, my favorite historically battle royale was the culling until <laughs> they torpedoed the game into oblivion. I, I do. I know that you like the culling. What do you like about the culling? Because I, I haven't really looked into it as, that much. I think Joe played it with you, right? But I don't think... Ernest either looked at it that much. So if you were telling us what about that one made it so much better? The culling was unique among Battle Royales for a couple reasons. One, it wasn't just a generic shooter. Uh, It actually had like a theme, which was, you know, it was a game show. And then it had, you know, it had a crazy announcer. I think his name was Chad, who would make like cheesy jokes. It had not a ridiculously low time to kill. So unlike PUBG, where you get one shot sniped by some guy in a bush after 40 minutes, you, in calling the matches were relatively shorter, like 15 minutes-ish. And then on top of that, every fight kind of felt like an, like a personalized battle. So you would just have like one other guy was like, it wasn't just like, pop, pop, he's dead. It's like, you actually had to go in and get in his face. It was a melee combat system the only battle rail with like melee combat i think besides maybe hmm. darwin's but and then uh you know it had a couple guns but they weren't like obscene and they were pretty hard to get your hands on so it was mostly like bows guns you could plant traps that were like hide trip wires and bushes you could hide a punch you could use grenades then they had a perk system so you could kind of personalize your play style pretty significantly and uh, it was just a. It had a lot of kind of cool things that you don't really see so in other games. Essentially, you're saying that the developers were creative and they took a a different. Well, well, I you also have problems with it, don't you? Though, 
Well, it was good right when it came out. Right. I mean, this is common knowledge to anyone who knows anything about the culling, but like the game started off really good and then just kind of the developers kept putting out patches one after another that completely destroyed the game balance and they kept doing things nobody wanted them to do. I think they uh, they kept rebalancing weapons at one point. They They completely overhauled like how certain types of weapons would work and just kept doing it over and over again even though people were telling them like why the game was balanced to come out with why are you rebalancing everything constantly they never really just uh, they never allowed like a meta to establish even because they just kept revamping the whole game over and over what what do you feel their decisions were um what what their motivations were were they trying to be more like other MOBAs or were they just kind of like blind and not really taking the direction they were just thought they were doing good but they weren't the developers of the culling, I think they, I mean, I don't think that they were trying to torpedo their own game, like, I, obviously, but I do think that they didn't have, they didn't have enough foresight into what they were doing, like, they tried a couple times, like, they, I rem, it was really just, like, at a certain level, just incompetence, because they did some things that made sense, like, they set up a test server for the game, they said, okay, we're gonna put out. We're gonna roll out new patches to the test server, and then so you guys can tell us how it works, and we're gonna make sure we're not gonna crash the game with bugs. And I think they used it one time in like a year. And so I mean, there's no excuse for doing something like that. That's just that's just mm. full blown incompetence. Okay. And then they completely they they would refuse to roll back patches that broke game that broke the content. So like, at one point, the game was like working pretty well i think people generally agree it's like in july the game was working really well and then all of a sudden they start rolling out these patches that make the combat worse and worse and worse and people kept saying just roll it back just roll it back it was working fine and now you're just making it worse and they just refused they absolutely just why do you think they were trying to go in the direction they were going in they were they they came up with very weird excuses for their changes like was it the player base complaining about shit no, no, it was. It was the, not the player base complaining about stuff because the player base was telling them stop changing stuff, change it back. And the developer said, we have, they had, like, you know, we have a vision. We want it to go this way. This is what we're going to do. Like, and they would, and so, like, at one point, they, there were, like, t- some, like, 30 perks, 40 perks in the game, I think, is the number I heard. Mm. And then after one patch, they removed that down to, like, 15 just in one patch no announcements previous to this they just roll a patch one day and they removed like f- over 50 percent of the perks in the game and said oh we're gonna rebalance all these perks so we're taking them out and you know that just removed a ton of the ability to customize your character and really limited the play styles like a lot and then they had a really fun airdrop system where the airdrop would fly in across the map you would call in a personal airdrop that you would select before the game you would call in it on an air pad and then it would fly, it would actually physically fly across the map to you, and then players could shoot it down as it flew by, and so that was always a risk. But yeah. and then they just removed that. They just said nope. Now it just appears on the pad, and it was like, well, why? There was no point to doing that. Nobody wanted them to do that. There was no one complaining about that. And they just changed it. They just for no apparent reason changed that. So, so would you currently that. recommend that game or? No. It's, Are, it's, wait, aren't they coming out with a? No, no, no. I might be thinking of another one. The Calling 2, right? Yeah, they announced the Calling 2 about, I think it was a month after they, maybe two months after they announced that they're uh, no longer working on the game. How do you feel that one's going to turn out? I mean, if it turns out like the last one, it'll launch and it'll be great, and then it'll be trash after about two months. So the devs just became incompetent randomly. Okay, um, <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, I mean, but, it started um, off great premise really they showed off their chops when the game started like they weren't completely like incapable of creating a good game they just didn't know what to do after they did and you also played um h1 you played darwin project right you played a lot of PUBG, fortnite uh what are your thoughts (laughs) lots of (laughs) what lots of fortnite I i have not played lots of fortnite as i'm not a big Fortnite hype guy. No, no, that's weird. Well, no, no, no. He, he's right though. Contrary. I remember he he was talking about when it when it first came out. And he thought it was too fucking 
I don't remember the exact words he used, but they, it was too, uh, it, it was just too simplified or something mm -hmm. like that, like the aiming system. Yeah, uh, but, I don't know if you got into the but more after that. They've but... always turned into that. So that that's what that's what I was thinking when you were describing. What do you mean they? Like, what other the, games? The, games, are you the, game, the, the, the popular games. So when he was describing the culling and all the changes that they were making, they see it seems like they were taking out the mechanics, and yeah, definitely and trying to just make it slightly more accessible. And I'm not going to say is, easier. Which is which is irks me to no end. If that is really the case, I really, really, really hate one anyone creating something in particular we're talking about games like developers if they're trying to fucking change their product to fit an audience because they think they'll make more money i mean i get i get why it happens no, they definitely will it. make more money i mean i, I can fire button the calling all day long but i think yeah, one I thing that really <laughs> that really points that really kind of exemplifies the whole thing was that they they had a, like a a loot system where you would get items and based on like you, you how how you well you did during the match, and mm -hmm. you would get a rating at the end. And so if you got like an S, which was you know you won and killed a bunch of people, then you would get a higher chance at better gear and so on. And yeah. it would just you know it was just cosmetic. And they uh and after a while they locked everybody's Steam inventory, including mine. So I have 500 cooling items that I can't do anything with. And uh, then they implemented loot boxes. <laughs> so that was fun. God damn. That's hilarious, dude. Yep. Welcome well, anyway, hold on. Back, back to what you said, Ernest. You said they all end up doing that. Um, mm. Examples, please. Uh, I mean, I mean, he just gave one, but I don't think I, I know uh, PUBG in particular. You, you really don't like that one, right? But I no, don't. I don't think I, they simplified that. I don't. I well, kind of well, sorry. When I say they start to simplify the games, I mean like niche games, uh, which which are specifically for like you know once again niche markets. They they tend to start making it going back on they, themselves yeah they, they they start to not be as confident in their own product and start they to look over at fortnite and they see a fucking they, fortnite exactly, standing on their head you know, like. they, so i mean I, I if i remember correctly let's for i'm gonna put, pull a moba out of my ass let's say for example smite like even smite when it first released i remember playing the beta it was it's completely different from the current state that it's in now. yeah completely no, I, I know what you're going with this yeah i um for the viewers i used to play smite for a long time like five six years and um i was really heavy into that game um but yeah they they did make a lot of choices to kind of i think i kind of feel like high res is they're kind of i'm not going to call them lazy they yeah i'm going to say they're they very they're kind of lazy so they kind of I don't know if their motive. Well, their motivations were money, but it was also to not put in the work. So they were kind of like just following a formula. After they started off with uh, like a passion to make like a a different type of game, like you know, the with the with the gods and everything. But and then they ended up going back on it and just saying, "All right, let's just make these gods just like every other MOBA. Let's make every decision based on these other MOBAs." So, but aren't you pretty high ranked in the Smite scene? Yeah. Uh, Yo, was I high ranked? Yeah, I I got pretty high ranked. Um, yeah, so yeah, I mean, uh, high res. It's not just like that they make they're, that they're lazy. It's just that they they just piggyback off of every single popular idea at the time, and then they stop putting into their previous titles. Uh, yeah, example, well, they they, example, they, like, they have that pattern. They, they, yeah, they, they try they to come out. It's, it's, it's a it's a blatant pattern. Uh, so League of Legends, Smite, uh, Fortnite, whatever the fuck this battle royale. Yeah, Paladins, called. right? Or no, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Overwatch Paladins. They they yeah, yeah, yeah. Overwatch them. Paladins. Um, and then, yeah, um, yeah, Realm Royale. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Realm Royale, and then they had um, uh, the card game Heroes of the Heroes of New Earth or whatever it's called. What is it called? Yeah. The, um, uh, what is this game called, dude? I thought the way card they games. Have a card. Oh, here, uh, Hearthstone. Yeah, they did. I yeah, think. so they they had Hearthstone. Hearthstone? No, they no, didn't. No, no, no. Hearthstone was a card game, and then they created another card game. Oh yeah, yeah, but it it, it was like a, it was like a 3D chess sort of really uh, card game. Oh, you remember it? Yeah, hand. They do it. Little, they oh, do they it. Have hand of the God. Every hands of the God, single yeah. time. That it's not laziness. It's just blatant. Like they just don't give a shit about like being like. Well, they do. They put in enough work to make it different and unique. 
Yeah, they do. I I I give them that, but it's just like they're like leeches, as like a. They kind of are. Yeah, someone else yeah. makes something blow up, and then they just you know yeah. follow suit. And I mean, and most of their titles. I mean, I'm not gonna say they're bad. I really really liked Smite. I really like Paladins. I like Paladins more than Overwatch. But the the fact remains the same that if there there no one there is a creative, they're they're all money hungry, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I, when I play their games, because like I said, I played Smite a very long time. I think I'm not gonna leave on a totally sour note. I think some of the developers there have a passion to put in something unique, but I think as yeah as a a creative whole they're kind of uncreative yeah but th- i do see things in the game that i think are actually good but no, uh, for yeah, sure, I, get yeah. I, I appreciate you know their games when i play them for sure but uh well you played realm royale uh no. and you no no no, not oh, you uh I did. zeke yeah yeah zeke and plays you, you said you kind of like it don't you i i have mixed feelings about it i like some of the they they again they they did what you said which is that it's clearly a derivative, but at the same time, they added enough new things that it's not just mm. like a cut. It's not a cut paste, right? It's new, not new working. things. In the chicken fucking gun that I see every yeah. Twitch clip. <laughs> the the chicken is actually kind of a cool idea. It doesn't. So you don't. You're not forced to just go revive your teammate now, and they just sit behind a box for an hour. They have they they can run away, and if they survive, then they just get up by themselves after thirty seconds. I'm not gonna lie. It makes for some good Twitch outplays like the yeah. chicken beat chicken hitting each other with the chicken gun trying to i saw i saw a play where they both hit each other with the chicken gun and the the wall was coming and he body blacked him into the wall and won like that <laughs> that's funny yeah uh, it's got some cool ideas like the forge you can you know customize you can go to a certain place on the map to create gear that you know is good and stuff but at the same time the the balance the biggest problem for me from that game was the balance with the weapons was atrocious at least for at least it was for a while when i played it like right at the start like you would just get deleted like instantly by some of the late game weapons even with maximum health you just boom one shot it not even by the sniper rifle just like a couple of weapons just boom one two shots dead yeah i mean it felt like balance balance it felt like the time to kill Balance yeah, comes. The, the, I'd, I'd rather I'd rather the, it be unbalanced than the mechanics just be off. Yeah. You know what the I mean? Only, yeah. It was definitely a solid foundation. I was just playing it. There was a bunch of, there was hitbox issues. The game seemed to get more laggy as they kept patching it, which was kind of weird. Mm-hmm. The well, time to kill went down as the game went on, which is kind of annoying. So, wait, sorry. What's time to kill again? Time to kill is like generally how long it takes to to kill, to kill somebody. Oh, like okay, the yeah, number yeah. of bullets it takes to kill a player. So like at the start of the game, it actually takes like four or five shots maybe, depending on what weapon you're using and headshots and all that. At the end of the game, it can be like two, like with some of the weapons. Do you do you prefer higher strong. higher time of to kill? I prefer or? lower, or I, I mean, prefer I prefer lower. higher. I mean, or, like but lower somewhere in a sweet spot. Faster. Lower oh, you prefer higher? Faster. Okay. I prefer higher. Like that's what one thing I liked about the culling was that, you know, it didn't. You didn't hit somebody one time and they died. You actually had to hit them a good number of times. And the same with chivalry. It's like, yeah, you could potentially two shot someone. Do you, you? Why do you prefer that so you can have a sense of outplay? I think it depends on the game there. Or, or more, more of an opportunity to outplay because you don't want to win just based on getting the drop on someone or what? I think that lower time to kill is definitely have a place for like very high fast paced games like you know call of duty of course well what about CSI what about more realistic low. games like uh, csgo PUBG doesn't Battle really Field, have that low PUBG. csgo has like kind of a weird time to kill because it's like can be like instantaneous if you get a headshot or take like four or five shots if you don't yeah but but siege is time to kill is fucking awful just straight up i despise the time well, to kill in siege well before we get into siege i guess since we're already kind of talking about games here and their mechanics we can kind of like lump in difficult games or not i so i want to ask um in your opinion in your opinion before uh, before we actually get to the difficult games uh i want to go back on to the battle royales how long do well you no, guys no we're gonna stay on it because i want to ask him uh but yeah what'd you say how long do you expect battle royales to last uh, be, be, because probably... MOBA, mobas I, I, mobas i say good five years well fortnite i mean it, it is such a, a towering popularity right now but i kind of see it um falling off a little bit already yeah so i I think yeah go ahead i just i 
this is probably just like my own personal hope speaking that it dies out quickly yeah. like i want it to go the way but, of overwatch yeah i mean i hope that the hype dies down that's all i can say is like i i don't want battle royales to go away or mm -hmm. something like i just hope that the hype chills off and we don't see this just insane yeah. hype fest for for fortnite yeah i have i have noticed um one of that's one of the main negatives when it comes to a game like fortnite or i mean I, I, I noticed it with league of legends yeah. it's when you have a game that's just so fucking monstrous in popularity mm -hmm. it tends to like Gra it makes a gravitational pull for all the other developers and we just see it's you know a, a lack of creativity because of that gravity to uh people gravitating towards those ideas too much so um but no joe, i, I just wanted to it? ask oh sorry Go ahead. joe joe sorry T you son of a bitch what did you say something? what do you what do you think about battle royales and how long do you think they're gonna last on like the the top well if you look at the trends you know you'd have a, a battle royale game that would be extremely popular and then there would be another one that come comes up and we replace that one you know? well no but do so, you think do you think that the trends will continue with battle royales or do you think eventually well, eventually, eventually people will probably get bored of them yeah but like and, uh, do you have a time else. frame that you predict I would say well, I actually have no way. I wouldn't really be able to give you. Well, if we look at um, if we look at the other trends here in comparison, right? We have, mm -hmm. so we have the MOBA trend. MOBAs still are lasting, and um, League yeah, of Legends kind of pioneered that, right? Yeah, but they're falling um, off. They they've had a good yeah, seven year run. Yeah, they are. They had a they had a long run, right? Mm -hmm. How big is Fortnite in comparison to how big League was? Well, League was bigger. Fort wasn't no, it? Fortnite is Fortnite massive. Is the biggest. Game biggest game ever. well ever, fortnite reaches into non-gamer territory for like grandmothers know what fortnite is dog like yeah it's yeah insane. it reaches into a new population which has to do with why i wanted to bring up difficulty of games sure. right like do you do you think that that's the correlation there right like um the the lack of kind of, or do you first off do you think fortnite is a difficult game no I think that it has a high skill cap when it when it comes to the building mechanics and nothing else. The building camp mechanics in what way? Because I all I know about Fortnite, I don't play it, but I see videos. You know, they're 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 high speed building, right? But they're doing it in like a, a specific pattern that it looks like you could YouTube or something. Mm -hmm. or no, I, you, I de you definitely wrong, can. But but just because you can YouTube something doesn't necessarily mean that it's not difficult. Yeah, I mean, yeah, being I able to do it, you know, under uh, high-pressure situations while yeah, pushing exactly, you with yeah. a team, you know, trying to build a specific, like... Well, having building. one mechanic that's difficult kind of can be seen as easy, right? Like, is there any other mechanic in that game? Yeah, but but the, the building mechanic, as far as what I've seen for Fortnite, is very integral to being really good at the game. Like, yeah, you, it's like definitely you could be a game. really, really good shooter... But if you don't know how to build correctly in that game, you're not. Yeah, going to I, I, the one time I played it, I experienced. Yeah. I I ran in thinking like, all right, I'm gonna I'm giving this game a try, but I don't care for this game that much, so I'm just gonna shoot. And I was playing against these two fucking doofuses <laughs> that, that were just building this insane tower, and they they did like I kept having to shoot to the wall and everything. And like I was just like, yeah, I don't, I'm not into this game. <laughs> they they yeah. should. I mean, the, the like even even though I know that the building is difficult in or in Fortnite, I don't feel as though it's a difficult game altogether. Just because like a difficult game to me is like you have to have, uh, like like you said, Mike, a, a variety of different mechanics, a variety of things that you have to be looking out for, a, a variety of different strategies that you have to have. Uh, the, you know the actual button presses are mechanical like we've we've played shooters to death shooters are not that difficult i don't think battlefield's difficult i don't think i mean i think csgo may be a little bit more difficult than all the other ones but i don't think shooters in, within themselves are difficult games to play uh d and also like usually i think it usually yeah i mean it, shooter, it really but... depends but they're, they're i don't think that it has a high enough ceiling 
um, for it to be named a difficult game. It's so accessible to little, ch little children. Like, I mean, little children. Are you just talking about Fortnite at this moment? The Fortnite, yeah. So it, it's, yeah, the genre is accessible too. Like shooters, I mean, you know what to do. You're, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I do. I do like that. But I the, I like shooters in general. For, see, the thing is, there's like a new kind of trend because I think people realize that um, easier equals larger audience. Hmm. typically so um there's kind of like you can't even you can't use fortnite as an example and say shooters aren't difficult although i, I do get where you're going with it like it, it, when you enter a shooter you know what what it is that you have to master aiming typically mm -hmm. but um fortnite they they you can kind of feel how they were going out of their way to make it um even more accessible than that which could be correlated with why it's so popular but i i wanted to ask um when you thought we should talk about difficult games, were you air quoting banter? What did you want to go over about? I was air quoting because specifically, I've seen a trend recently, which is that people like to talk about like kind of the Dark Souls esque game, right? Where dark. where that's like the the buzzword now is it's yeah, Dark yeah. Souls esque. It's the Dark and Souls it's... of the. The Dark Souls Whatever of genre. you know card games, the Dark Souls of you know MOBAs, you know etc. And what and the, the thing about Dark Souls is that the game actually is difficult in as much as you know you have to learn things to get better at it. Like there's things you have to you have to play the game, mm -hmm. you learn shit, you get better. You, you learn win. patterns. Yeah. Where and then there is another type of game that is not as difficult but people still attribute difficulty to this type of game and like that's kind of these these roguelikes that i keep that people like to talk about i don't know how many of these you've played but like games like ftl uh darkest dungeon oh, tons of these these roguelikes. are like side scrollers you're talking about right yeah these are like kind of side scrollers there's heavy they're, they're kind of artificially elements. difficult is that what you're trying to... i'm not trying to say they're they're not artificially difficult in like as in they you know and just increase health bars or something but they're they're not difficult in the same way and what they're because what they are is they're punishing they're, they're not, not they're not as creatively difficult well dark souls was punishing but they were also um very creating and, or creative and rewarding about well, they want what about i mean it. by punishing is like in dark souls when you die you don't really lose that much progress right like you go back you, there's general, there's the, like levels kind of in game it just kind of there's typical checkpoints and levels and you know you can lose you lose progress you have to go through the level again but it's generally not that far and it's generally not that much progress and you don't lose that much whereas in these games like i know darkest dungeon is something that i've been hearing a lot about recently just for some reason i've been seeing it a lot and i've been and i tried playing through it and i was just realizing that whenever i was losing it was generally to something that I couldn't have possibly have known before losing yeah. in that particular way. That's why I said and the then, word patterns before. Yeah, and then on top patterns. of that, and then on top of that, it what I was being punished with was just hours and hours of having to do having to play more because mm -hmm. it's like you know your characters perma die in that game, and so you die. Yeah, your characters die right. and you just have to you have to restart you have to restart with new characters or you know keep bringing in more guys and you can make upward progress it's just it's just a time it just felt like a grind to me as opposed to like to be fair game. though that's what people attrib attribute to being a difficult game that's an arcade grinding game. that's yeah that that's an arcade game for you arcade games are grindy within its within themselves because you have to put in quarters and shit over and over and over again, and when you die, you lose all your progress. It's just an arcade game. Yeah, to me, I just I can't I don't think of that as being difficult. Like oh, it's I not. It, it's game, it's right? just it's just you have to invest your time to learn the game, learn the patterns, learn you know uh, how the mechanics of the game. Like well, what would what would the both of you consider to be actually well other than well Dota. I don't think Dark Souls. Is, I is I, super I think I think I PvP do. games are inherently more difficult. Than they are inherently PvP. more difficult, but I I'm in, I'm in, kind of want to touch on that a little bit because I know. You and I have had discussions where, when it comes to a lot of PvP games, your main problem with them is the lack of difficulty, which I wanted to point out. When it when it's a PvP game, isn't it 
inherently always a certain level of difficult because there will always be a better player? No. Elaborate. Well, I just, I know that when it comes to, like, League of Legends or whatever it may be, you your opinion on it is that they're way too easy, right? But I could argue that, then why aren't you the best player? I don't think League of Legends is way too easy. I thought, I could have sworn you said stuff about, you were talking about, I know you said Smite was way too easy. I, yeah, right? oh, okay. All right, so the reason I, the reason I would say Smite is way too easy, because I've played League of Legends, and the reason why other people would say League of Legends is easy because they've played Dota. It goes down that, you know, uh, it goes down the ladder on we've played a more difficult MOBA, so the mechanics we already know, the champions we can understand very, very easily. And I feel as though, like, if I were to play Smite and I would like to play it every single day for months and months and months, you'd I easily would reach that skill cap. Huh? You'd reach that skill cap. It, it, I would. I, I felt as though I would. Because I, I was facing people who were supposed to be better than me. Like I know, I know, I faced the pro before. I can't remember. Well, we can't. We can't use the players in example. When we're talking, I feel like we can't use the players when we're talking about how difficult the game is. Because that's really that's the player's fault, not the game itself. So, in 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 a sense, if there is somebody that let's say is way better than you at, sure. at League of Legends, and they jumped on Smite, they would still be able to beat you in Smite. You think, or, or are you saying the game, games, uh, PVP games that lack these mechanics? What it just makes it too easy to fight on the same level as people that are faster, reactive than you, more are, are better thinkers and stuff like that. Is that what you mean by games that are easy and also PvP? Is you is you want players that are ob that should be better to be better? I don't fully understand the question. Yeah, I'm saying like if you if you if you played Smite against another player mm -hmm. that he or whoever it may be would be better than you in another game like uh that no. is, has more complicated mechanics what do you mean no he wouldn't be it, so it, if a professional in smite. in smite went to league of legends and he fought me in lane if no, i don't no, know that, yeah that's not what i'm saying i'm saying if you okay i'm saying are you banta do you get what i'm trying to say or am uh, i just making a zero sense you're making no sense I'm saying I'm I'm trying to ask um, when you're calling a PvP game too easy. Are you are you saying that it's just too easy to reach the skill cap? Even if you like, I'm I was using your game as it's an example. It's too easy I was saying to if somebody... grasp and it's too easy to be above average starting off in the game very green. Does that answer your question? So if I start off yeah, in the game and, and, I, and I don't, I'm like a weird, not make sense. What? I said, yeah, I'll leave it there. I don't want to continue to not. <laughs> sure. If I, let's for example, say I play League of Legends for five years, which is true. I go into Smite. I learn the game in a week. I learn all the champions in a week. I'm gonna say this fucking game's easy. And if I'm, if I like play ranked or some shit, and I get above what the average number of people who actually play that game, like religiously play, that game's fucking easy. Like that's 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 my thought process. It's I don't think it's the players. I'm thinking it's the game because it was so easy to grasp, but it's so easy to learn their specific mechanics. Even if they didn't change it up enough, like be coming from another game, you know. But as, it has as, to be as, the players, though. That that's why I was bringing uh, your it, player it, base into question. I was saying, say the Koreans or, or sure. whoever you think is the best country, if they brought their people to Smite, right? The the ones that are like god level in your game, mm -hmm. and they and you both spent the same amount of time practicing mm -hmm. they would still probably be better than you in, like it, it could be the player base well that's just because yeah. they're better players that, right? yeah. yeah exactly but I, but that's my point i'm saying if if the game if you if you still get beat mm -hmm. by better players then that means that there's still more skill cap we, uh, oh of course there's more skill cap but then then you're not playing versus the game you're playing versus the players What's, i think but, he's talking i think what he's talking about mike is he's saying like there's of course the skill cap for any game is like oh, for any of these com more competitive games is like potentially infinite right it's mm -hmm. like making zero mistakes like that's never but that's unattainable right and so uh, somebody who's better at mobas than simba could play any moba and beat him at any moba 
and so that's not what he's talking about. He's talking about like the average level player. But but I thought that's what he was saying. He was saying that he 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 was using my the player base of Smite though. He was saying like if he can't he could come in and beat any of them. But my point was that you're using are you're talking about the players no when i was when I I'm saying if you bought specifically in... about smite players i was talking about like as a whole like let's say moba players in general like i i feel i feel like dota's was more difficult for me to grasp and to learn so i know for a fact if i were to try to get elo in that game even now because i know like i, I still i know how to play it i i wouldn't get nearly close to what i can get in smite I wouldn't get nearly close. I, I feel like I can be like, what is it, like master, in Smite? But in Dota, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'd be like gold or something similar to that. Yeah, yeah the game does play a role, but after you reach a certain, you know, if, once if you're above average, as soon as you start the game, you're gonna fucking blast through the competition. Then you're versus the players, not the game. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think he's, yeah. He's just talking about like basically just how hard it is to actually become competent at mm-hmm. the game at a basic level. Like at the I highest. Guess, level. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I I think I understand. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and move along to the next, um, the next talking point because we're probably a good fifty minutes in or so. So we're going to go over to Comcast. Uh, Xfinity Mobile is now throttling resolution and speed, even for unlimited users. Uh, what do you guys think about this? I mean, called it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it. It's just, I don't think anybody didn't think this was coming after the end of net neutrality stuff. It was, it, it's, it's absurd. Thank if I remember correctly, the net neutrality was repealed, though, so currently they shouldn't be allowed to do this. Spe- specifically, what are they wait, throttling? Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't wait, it? What? No. I think you're like kind of mixed up on net neutrality. Just... Uh, explain it to me. Net, ne- net neutrality prevents them from, from doing something like that, or should it? Right, so yeah. wasn't it repealed? or? Yes. Yeah. Net so that means that they repealed, can do so this, they right? they can do Oh, okay, now. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Sorry, mixed yeah. up. All right, welcome, uh, Joe. Thank you for joining us. Feel free, Joe. Uh, what do you think about it? Well, well, hold on. Time out. What are they specifically uh, throttling, though? They're throttling. Uh, yeah, they're they're throttling their, you can. their water pressure. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. you're funny. All right, goodbye, buddy. No, so they're on, <laughs> if you basically they're making it so you can only stream like 480p on your phone mm-hmm. or Ugh. 600 kilobytes per second. Yeah, it's, oh my it feels really good. Goodness. So if you go over, if you like unlimited users, if they go over the data cap, which is about twenty gigs, they start to get instantly throttled. But but it wouldn't surprise me if they still throttled even below you, uh, even before you hit the data cap. So yeah, what does a Jit Pie have to say about this? Who? <laughs> Jit Pie. <laughs> He's the, he he was the talking head when it came to them repealing net net neutrality. Um, no, uh, that's gone over my head. Yeah, he was the, what was it, he was the head of the FCC. Oh, is that the, um... That's the guy with the Reese's Cup? Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, okay, okay. Nah, he's, he's probably, he's probably getting it he's in over there. He's swimming happy, all the way to the bank in yeah, a yeah. pool of cash. <laughs> like... Uh- isn't that insane that, that they can just do something like that right in front of everybody and just get away with it? Yeah, I mean... I mean, this is just one where I don't care if you're left or right on the spectrum. Like, you should be pissed yeah. at yeah. the Republicans in this because they they fully put it through. There, I don't think there was a single Democrat. Oh, right. really? The Republican yeah. Party did that? Zeke. There was not a single Democrat that voted for this. Don't you know that net neutrality hampers competition? Yeah. 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 And, uh, I don't know. I mean, my, my free speech, man. I mean, if the one, you know, ISP in your area, you know, gets hampered in any way, you know, that's going to really screw with competition, you know? Yeah. I know, right? You can pick from Verizon or Verizon, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not even remotely surprised that Comcast did this. Uh, I mean, we all know their tra- their track record. Uh, this was mostly just like, hey, they're, they've done it again. Like, look, 
you know, give them like a, a smack on the wrist, they'll they'll keep doing it. Um, also, most of the MSPs do this anyways. They just are not reported. Um, you know, so what? most ISP. Uh, ISP, sorry, it's most most of the ISPs do this anyways. Uh, there was there was instances when I was in college where like, you know, I'd be trying to get, or I was paying for like fifty megabits per second down and um, like five up. During the peak time hours, I'm getting like 15. Once I call them and you know they see my numbers there, I put in my account uh, number, instantly goes back up to 50, with without me yeah. speaking to a representative or not. Like yeah. they, they do this. So oh, I mean Netflix did this, right? They uh, they put people were they were throttling Netflix illegally, and so Netflix posted a oh yeah where you yeah they they do this often. Your and check your connection Netflix and mm-hmm. they were by the way throttled. Comcast did this for you did quote this unquote me. yeah right Comcast to oh, help yeah. to help or sorry yeah yeah I got my words mixed yeah. up to help you conserve data we've established <laughs> a 480p as a standard resolution that's yeah. standard right. resolution that's crazy it's 2018 we we did this to help you conserve data. How do you I feel know. about that, Joe? Uh, I think it's fantastic. You know, like now I we can... will conserve a lot of data, data now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. And we'll now I don't have to worry about going over, over my limit. Every, I mean, even though I quickly. even though I bought unlimited, thanks for helping me conserve my data. I really appreciate yeah. it. Even after I've already used my data and I have unlimited. Yeah, I'm not, I was having a lot of trouble conserving mine. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks a lot, but I really appreciate it. All right, so we can move on to the Ant Man. I, I hope my ISP also helps me, but yeah, yeah, we can, we can. Mike. Oh, uh, the hold on, the movies. All right, Ant-Man. Let me look at this Google Doc here. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. So, <clears throat> before before we get into Ant Man, let me roll up. Oh, here we go. I, I have a here I have we a, go. Boys. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> here we go. I just had a question, right? Oh, I just had a question. Oof. <laughs> No, it's no, spicy. Uh, it's getting spicy. I'm, I'm ready to be demonetized. <laughs> yep. Let's go. We we've already been demonetized. Yeah, it's a long over. Time ago. But um, like shit about Comcast. No, I, I was just wondering. <laughs> I, I've been throttled. I, 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 oh shit, dude. I'm we're we're out. already put down to one one hundred p. Yeah, I'm cutting out. No, no one can even hear us. Um. No, no, no. I was just wondering, kind of, why you guys thought that A Quiet Place was one of the worst movies of all time. I don't oh, think it was oh, the worst oh, movie. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go, yeah. boys. Here we go. That's Talk that it. shit. The fuck the... Uh, oops. The movie. <laughs> the movie. <laughs> demonetized, dude. No sponsorship. <laughs> and, uh, the dude. freaking movie where, like, everyone lost their, their minds. <laughs> that was, like, yeah. Like, like, it, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Ser- like, honestly. No, wait. Hold like, on. No, explain is- that to me because I, I missed that in the movie. And first off, I'm, I'm really not... I'm not that... I don't care that much that you guys didn't like it because I, I didn't think it was, like, fantastic or anything. I, I just wanted to, like, kind of grill you why you thought it was so awful. But what do you mean everybody lost their minds? I mean, first of all, Joe... Wait, wait, Joe? Just to just to make sure the viewer knows what we're talking about we're talking about the movie A Quiet Place directed by John Krasinski no directed by Jim Halpert and 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 yes, Joe right. and Joe and Zeke well, were both talking earlier about how little they liked the movie. And Joe, I watched explain it. yourself. I watched it last night, so I was just kind of wondering why they thought that. But I, I didn't. I missed this part that you were talking about how people lost their minds. What? Go on right, to Mike, Mike, quick question, hey, hey, quick hey, question hey, before let... Joe explains himself. Did you watch No Plex? Yeah, of course. Plex. Thank you. Thank thanks, you. Ernie. Thanks. Thanks for the sponsor, Plex. All right, go ahead, Joe. <laughs> Yeah, let me preface this by saying that I am a tremendous fan, as is Ernest, of The Office. I love it, and dude. One of my favorite I shows. Love, 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 love. By the way, that, that guy, that dude is a handsome man. But, uh, yeah, he's very yes, handsome. Yes, he, yes he's, he's great looking. Can, can, can we get yeah, it there? I, I, lo- I loved, yeah, I, I loved it. <laughs> I'm in The Office, John Krasinski. Mm. But this, You're about this to disrespect movie, him to all yeah. oblivion, right? But go ahead. This, this movie, A Quiet Place, like, oh boy. Like, oh, so much, so much, like, like awful about it, like that you really have to just like not like think when you're watching. Did it. did you could you not get through the movie? What was so bad like, about it? No, like, I I did get through it, but the whole time I was just like, like, why did they do that? Did that really just happen? Well, really like, quick, have you seen it, Ernest? Why, yeah, yeah. Why is that now a thing? You know what I mean? Like, 
Just... There was no internal logic in the film yes. whatsoever. It was completely incoherent. Well, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I kind of see, like, you're, you're, but it sounds like you're saying just things that are, like, inherent in movies, typically. Like, because this movie didn't seem like it, it was that incoherent. Like, I no. saw, I, see, I can kind of see what you're talking about, but it wasn't as awful as you deeply sighing and fa- sounding like you just watched. Let okay, them explain it themselves. It was... Okay, it yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. just that there was a bunch of problems with the movie. It was that every one, everybody was saying that it was fantastic and it was like the highest rated movie on Metacritic for a while. Two, it was there was a lot of stuff that just basic things that were not explained at all, like and were actually explained badly. Like the, mm. if you if you believe the film, you, you you would come out with just a totally random understanding of what was going on. It doesn't make sense at all. And so it was a combination of just like just watching it. I was just kind of in awe of how little sense it made. And it's like, you know, not everything has to, I'm not someone that's going to say, oh, there was there was a couple plot holes. So the movie is ruined. Like, you know, not everything in the movie Alien makes sense. Right. Not you can't. Every movie has like a couple plot holes. Mm. But at the same time. If the film has no internal consistency, it just becomes a bunch of just BS conveniences that just are just thrown together randomly, and they don't, they might as well not tell you anything. Like, because, for instance, like that stuff with the monster, like, okay, so the monsters don't have echolocation, hmm. apparently. How are they not running into trees? How, like, what, it, that's just a basic, like, logic. Like, okay. How do you know they're not? Because then the, they they can navigate down stairwells I don't know, and around dog. and through buildings. I, I, I don't know, man. Maybe they just listen to the vibrations of the earth. You know. Well, know. in 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 the movie's defense, I know he, some humans that can't see. They can kind of gauge where they are just based off hearing. If you're talking about that YouTube video where the dude's like riding a bike and he's blind, uh, I'm ending the podcast. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm I'm definitely okay. not okay. doing that. Just but check. you. Might want to do that anyway. Yeah. But um, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying they can hear kind of in a way the echo location works. So what if they just hear so good that they can judge? They can hear objects. where trees are. Yeah, like, man. I, well, I when they hear a noise, right? But, yeah. Well, well, but how they don't do you, have it. Well, then, but like, how? Okay, where did they confirm they don't have an echo location? Because people I missed it. Will, are standing. Yeah, if, people if they have stand, echo location, yeah, then they would be able to see, see people in the room with them. But they don't have echolocation, so they can't do that. But at the same time, it shows them doing like the clicky noise. Well, maybe maybe they just have. Hmm. That's that's true. Yeah, I mean, they, I mean, they, they, maybe maybe they just have. Maybe they just like, have shitty echolocation. You that? literally have. A maybe, maybe they have a like, Nextel chirp. <laughs> <laughs> you have the character like, like standing right and right and right by one. Well, yeah, maybe like, they thought maybe a they thought it was a fucking moving with, tree. With a heartbeat, you know, and. All this breathing like, heavily. Yeah. Panting. Okay, those big ass ears. Oh, they should have heard the heartbeat. <laughs> L- L- listen, <laughs> listen. We, we are not here to defend that. You know, most of the movie. We're just saying, why didn't you think it was a good movie? You. Well, no, I'm not even asking that. I'm just asking why you thought it was the worst movie. Well, yeah, that's all I'm asking. It was. Oh. It was in counter response to the amount of hype that it got. Okay, yeah, that, oh, okay. I mean, that right, fair enough. You were jaded, kinda... dude. You were jaded. You you had the Fortnite effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well it, it, well, it comes I legitimately circle. think that it was a, just a bad film. Like just really? at, a, at a basic level, I think it was a bad film. Well, do you think it was poor? So, okay, okay, if you if you watch the character. movie and you never heard of it and ne- like you would still just be sighing in disappointment if if no one told you anything about the movie if before you I watched had, it. If I went in totally blind, I hadn't heard a single thing about the film. I would have said, huh. That was interesting. Didn't like it because I liked the the quiet. I liked how quiet they made the film. I think that was a unique idea. Mm-hmm. I think that like you know how little sound there is. I think that's a cool filmmaking technique. But at the same time, I Wait, on a side note, didn't though, care at bro, 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 all bro. about the characters. Mm. I'm sorry to interrupt, but like on the uh, the quietness, like. Like when I went to go see it, like the theater was like you could hear a pin drop. It was so freaking. Quiet. Well, that that was one thing I wanted to bring up about the movie is that they they did a here's but here it's a horror movie. Its job is just supposed to be a horror movie, right? Like they did their feeling the feeling of tenseness of quietness. It made you want to be quiet 
while you were watching it because you wanted to feel what they were feeling. You kind of felt tense. Like, you couldn't talk either when the thing was uh, around because you didn't want to make a noise either. So while you were watching it, if you were, like, holding kind of lowering your breath and like kind of tensing up and being quiet yourself then it did its job right i don't know i was i didn't feel that tense during the film just because i didn't care about the characters you know were you just straight up yawning at when she was pregnant or when she was about to give birth i was my eyes were out of my head she threw that baby out of the out of the womb just tossed it right personally i wasn't tense either but i don't see i don't see how we're nitpicking on like uh, illogical points in the movie and saying, okay, that mo- that that made the movie bad. That that point where they didn't have echolocation properly, that's what made the movie bad. I don't agree with that. That's a good argument. What made what made the movie bad wasn't was a culmination was the the accumulation of a ton of different little nitpicks you could make for pretty much every. There was movie. there was one thing I remember you guys bringing up. You saw something about didn't were you How read heavy did you sand. No, no, you read, you read the like the movie had articles or something. You were, you, you were trying to figure out where how the monsters came to be, and you were talking about that. Or is my memory oh, right. totally off, like off? Joe is talking about the whiteboard. Yeah, was there like something else to like the backstory that Joe I missed? Joe would when I was be watching? the type of person who goes on like subreddits and like I need to find all the answers. Yeah, even though I hated the movie, right? Yeah, he hated it. He's yeah, you piece stuff. of shit. There was just weird stuff. Like, you know, the monsters didn't seem to be a threat, like, at all. Like, they were just these monsters, and they didn't, like... They seemed pretty threatening to me. But it's like, I, it was totally destroyed any kind of, you know, immersion for me when I, when it, when I... If I'm forced to believe that the monsters are this global threat that destroyed civilization, like, and they're just, like, giant monsters that just kind of run around really fast it's like there are lots of monsters in the world that run around really fast and like, kill the, people because by the yeah, way we, we, we kind of fu- we kind of fucked up a little bit i think we should have said spoiler alert uh, who gives like, a shit if they haven't seen it fuck them. <laughs> yeah we have no viewers place. anyway it's fine but you know a quiet place like for instance they, they just they, they just basically put a generic monster that had good hearing and was not a threat in any real way like other than killing more, people but, yeah one tapping people threat, dude. yeah it, like what the hell was op how did it destroy cities did you not see it drop because it killed the people spoiler but, but they and the military didn't shoot it with helicopters or jets no 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 but I, no 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 the way i the what i took from it was that it was only taking damage because she just um somehow made it weak no, it's not exactly. You no, know, I mean, Joe, I, don't know I know you know exactly magic. how it happened. So don't yes. say it like yes. that. Yes. She, no, but, but, it, but it's, it's, it's like so BS that that would be its weakness. Oh, he's with, so with, mad, with, a, with a specific oh, freak. You know how mad back? Because, be because they're really the good at hearing. So they didn't really have. Wow. What? Like. They already yeah. have like weapons in the real world that make really loud sounds to drive people away. They, like, they, they didn't. Well, think no, I this. figured it was the frequency. Would, though. They, had, they the have frequency. Yeah, they, they have, have weaponized frequency. speakers. Okay, like if something is is so sensitive to sound, it, it can. No, like, but it was the it frequency at, like, though. I thought. They, 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 no, no one figured it out until that girl. That was the whole point of it. Yeah. That they didn't. No, no one BS. knew it was. Frequency That's the, yeah. you the next time there's a movie out and, and, and there's any illogical things in it, I'm fucking coming back it on here and saying like that shit didn't make any sense. Ernest, it was like the whole movie made no sense. These monsters can't fly. How did they kick out the jets? How did they take out the helicopters? Yeah. Why, where are the armor-piercing bullets? They didn't respond fast monsters? enough. But yes, what? they didn't respond fast enough. <laughs> they were spawn camping them. What the fuck? This is this is a video gaming podcast. Can you think outside of the box? I mean, there, there could be there could be other. There could have just been so many of them. They they seemed very uh, tough. The guy wrote on the whiteboard armor, so I, I assume yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> armor. But, I, they, I, well, I yeah. All right, all right. It was kind of funny that he just wrote armor. But anyway, let's continue from there. Right. What, so else, assume, what else? What else? What else? They were invulnerable. Right. I, I assumed he was saying they were invulnerable. So. They're, they're invulnerable. They have uh, 
adamantium. Okay, okay. The Marvel it's crossover. Okay, it's the you, dis- you guys are stretching out in too hard on it. It's just I a know, horror know, movie, guys. Know. We've discovered the explanation. They're, they came from the X Men universe. Okay, okay. Question. That's how question. They question. Did. question: Have you guys right, watched a horror movie before? Better. Have you guys watched I've a horror movie? No, I've never before. seen a horror movie in my life. But you know, if it's gonna be this bad and full of just. Yes, moments. Then I expect it to be rated this bad and full of what? like. I expect okay, it to I get that. It. It I was, get they that. was trying to get me to take it seriously. It wasn't like that. a cheap Friday the Thirteenth movie. Like it was. It didn't a deserve fucking all the rewards and all that shit. I, I agree with that. But I mean, like it's this is a horror movie. Like if you look at any horror movie, they're all gonna have so many things about it that just awful. But it's just like you're not watching it for that. You're. You're just watching it for the tenseness, so I don't but know. But it's like you have to embrace. It, it, to me, it was. It you felt have like to it embrace was just reality. So up its own ass. It was so up its own ass. It, the it movie. Was literally... Would you think it was up its own ass if everyone wasn't up its ass? Because the movie didn't indicate it was up its own no, ass. It, it, it was. It was trying to. It was. It felt like they were trying to make it legitimately like dramatic and like that moment at the end when he's like screaming and they play the dramatic music and the monster comes and kills them and they were trying to make that's him feel something. That's a standard like, That's a movie. <laughs> I was laughing Holy my ass shit. off. The guy, it was so dumb. I, like, I, I cared so little about this guy. And he, cool? and he does that. Is and they were dude, trying to make he was, it he was in the office, man. He, yeah, the guy, he, was, office he was Jim well, Halper. <laughs> what do you expect him to do? Not make a Wait, movie that's it, Jim Halper got that. That's what I said, Jim Halper? No, you said John Halper. No, I well, definitely like, don't. Right, I don't care. Here's the Sorry, thing. Man. You know what else is a horror movie? There's this Netflix series called Slasher. That's also a horror series. Oh, but God, that's, that is so cool. hilariously bad. And it's embra- it doesn't try to be good. it doesn't take it so serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But could that just be your taste, though? Okay, what, so, what if so, people weren't super nitpicky and they just like to feel super tense without a movie? Like, you're... You, you are not not just you me or probably all of us when we're watching a movie and we just see something so blatantly illogical it just destroys us but not everyone's like that or i want to say most people are not like that so oh that's like what this. joe and i said is just like you know if you can turn off your brain and i've said this on comments and i get just downvoted in mass right like i say hey if you can turn off your brain you'll like it otherwise don't watch it because it will just give you nightmares it'll like, give you nightmares for the wrong reasons it, it's, yeah, like the, yeah. it's like the new fast and furious for the I, I, I woke it, up at what? night guess, like whispering how heavy is sand to myself because... <laughs> oh, okay 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 so so anyway all right box office um how well movies are doing right now so jurassic world is at the top right now 61 million the incredibles 2 have you guys seen any recent movies in the box office by the way I saw Infinity Yo, Wars. World, Infinity, yeah, yeah I mean, for a while. I'm pretty sure that that we that that movie destroyed the box office. But I mean, a more recent one, like one no. that is listed currently. Oh, uh, 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 Incredibles two. That shit. Yeah, is okay. You, you, yeah, that one was good, right? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, none cool. of you have seen Jurassic World yet. No, I saw I saw Jurassic World. No, you didn't. Okay. Okay, it was right, logical. Let's talk about that in a no second. one, no one could um, ever enjoy that movie. <laughs> no, they, okay, let's talk about that. In Dinosaurs? Um, uh, they don't even have. Okay, feathers. no, Ernest, shut the fuck up. You haven't watched it yourself. So. Yes, I did. No, that that movie, everything that, that they good. just hated on about the Quiet Place the, was like tenfold in Jurassic World, in my opinion. But um, so right now, Jurassic World is the top of the box box office. Incredibles two is like following it. I'm not sure the difference of the releases. When uh, which one no, released just, first? Jurassic World is just more noteworthy. Oh, okay. People want to go to that one. The Incredibles okay. 2 was definitely better, in my opinion. But for everyone here who saw Jurassic World, I just want to ask: Did you understand what Jeff Goldblum was talking about at the beginning of the film? I, 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 I don't. That that movie, dude. I, I don't even think he knew he was shooting for that movie. They, I think they were just gave him a script and kind of recorded him. He was still filming uh, Ragnarok. Thing. Yeah, he was the he was his, the collector. Did whatever. you guys like his delivery of the uh, Welcome to Jurassic World? I, I don't know. <laughs> it, at the beginning of the film, I actually I was watching with my dad. I looked at him. I was like, w- "Did you understand any what he was talking about?" He's just like, "No, I don't know. I, I don't think he understood it." Yeah, but he's he's Jeff sense. Goldblum. Like so, it, whatever he says, we have to figure out what he's talking about. We owe that to him. Do we though? 
I don't know, dude. He's Jeff Goldblum. Man. Yeah, but what, I mean, I honestly don't really care that much about him. But I always hear like everybody <clears throat> like put some respect on his name. Like, what, what I mean, he he was in him? some sick movies though. He, like he what? deserves respect. All right. Oh, uh, wh- wh- what do you mean, <laughs> Jurassic Park? The, uh, the, yeah, one. Okay. What, what else? I mean. Like, Fucking like, somebody help me! <laughs> I'm, help me. I'm, I'm trapped up, in a corner. Uh, the the fly. I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Or, exactly. That's my point. Okay, Day there you fucking go. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, Independence Day. Fair enough. All right, but that's um, two. So, but no, I, I don't want to continue spoiling every movie for every viewer. But all I'm going to say about uh, Jurassic World is. It's I would, kills all the dinosaurs. I would recommend you save your money, but you could do it with it, uh, what we, you we want. Turn, but I, I would highly review recommend review saving podcast. Your money. How many stars are you gonna? Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna give it. A re- I'm not gonna review it. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm trying to warn whoever's listening. Right? You're. Yeah. I. I love you. You're listening. Don't just save your money. Okay. <laughs> save, uh, save do you money. Do you agree, Zeke, or did you like? Yeah, it? that movie was trash. I <laughs> okay. See it. Well, I mean, One if anyone star. if anyone is listening, I do recommend that you spend money on it. Get 3D. Get the Shut big popcorn. Your fucking face. Dude. What is the problem? It, Jeff so, Goldblum's in it. He's a national a full, treasure. I've already had a full spoiler. He's a national treasure, Mike. I, 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 I'm not. I'm gonna continue to try to not to spoil the movie here, but 80 percent of the movie was in a mansion. So I'm just gonna leave it. There, yeah, that sounds right? good. It's a Jurassic. What, what it's a it? Jurassic Park movie, and and over well over half of it was in a mansion. Um, that sounds oh. amazing. I I I'm really really excited. Who, to see who it. wait? Did Disney own that or who owns Jurassic Park? I don't Park? know. Disney probably. Fuck you, just it's universal. Universal. you just say okay, probably you... just because of what? Because fuck Disney, man. What they ruin everything. Right? They ruin. They're ruining everything right now. If they own Jurassic Park. Uh, but I guess you okay. Know, so, 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 so here, here's the sure. track record that Disney have that they've like hit it out the park, right? So they have Han Solo, they, boom, okay. hit it out you, the park. You, you are just trolling, dude. What, what are you? Who, what are you? I thought talking? Joe was gonna be trolling. No, us, man. stop. Not you. All right, what are you talking? Are you telling me that Han Solo wasn't a ten out of ten movie? Are you telling me that, that right now? A trash movie. Fuck you, so, man. Cool. All right, all right, that, all right. This is just what? this whole podcast is gonna be a PSA of people saving their money. All right. Don't watch Han Solo. Han Solo was so good, dude. All right, um, he didn't yeah. watch it. Just so you guys know, I mean, everybody save your money on save once, your money on Han Solo. Save your money again, on Jurassic World. Once again, please. Or just use your movie pass. Go go watch right, if you if you continue. Go I'm watch gonna Han- say, I'm gonna say Infinity War was bad. You <laughs> don't uh, don't even get me fucking started. That shit was that was the goat. All right, so Han Solo needs to be bought 3D IMAX. Pay the maximum price. Period. Take your mom, send, take your grandma, send all, them everybody. A check. <laughs> send them Just a send check. Them a check. Just send me a check. All right. So, anyways, all right, we can move on to the next one, uh, unless we're still talking well, about Ant. Well, what are you guys excited about Ant Man? Of course. Right? Yeah, I'm a I'm a Marvel fanatic. Of course, I am. I will okay. Watch it. Did you watch you watch like the first one? Right? Of course, I liked it. it, really it I, mean, I actually didn't watch it. What? what? Okay. This is me. This is oh, yeah. What? All right. This is it's on Plex. Me totally. It is okay. I I will try to watch it, but I I can't help but feel like that I, I'll never be able to take it seriously. Don't take it seriously. Boom, done. Problem well, solved. Okay, so it's, I'm I'm going in. And I'm going to watch it as a full on comedy. Yes. Is that what it is? Okay. But you didn't like when I watched uh, um, Guardians of the Galaxy as a comedy. Because Guardians it wasn't a Galaxy comedy. Too. That shit. That was garbage. I'm talking about number two, by the way, not number one. Guardians two was utter trash. Well, as as a and I'm as someone I'm very that was disappointed not, in you actually for like I actually I, okay as someone that wasn't a Guardians of the Galaxy fan or I didn't know about them, I liked Guardians of the Galaxy too. Of course a lot, you did. So. Would you say Zeke? Uh, yeah, I thought it was alright. No, it wasn't. Move along before I actually get upset. That all right? So so here's the problem, right? So um, Guardians one, great movie. I, f- I feel like that movie was like. It's definitely in my top five Marvel movies of all time. Probably top three, right? Um, Guardians two, they it was so cringy. They they constantly had to make you laugh constantly. Was it was it because you felt like they didn't take your character serious? No, no, no. no. Guardians one was it, was it like funny too? They made jabs and you know they had times where they laugh. Guardians two felt like it had a laugh track in it, and that's the worst shit. 
I kind of get what you're saying. I think if I watched it on a we'll second watch, it again, watch I would I would 100% understand what you're like, saying. Like think think Probably about not like, going to because I didn't like it that much. But, oh um, yeah, because it was it was really good. What's that What's that show called um, with the um, with the nerd that people like a lot? Uh, uh, that is Big, the Bang most. Big Bang Theory. Imagine like Big Bang Theory Ugh. like mixed into the Marvel universe. That's how I felt that Guardians Two was. However, uh, the Guardians were really good in Infinity Wars. I will say. That. Oh yeah, I fucking loved that movie. But anyway, yeah. all right. So, um, should we just move straight on to the next thing? Or do yeah, you, you want to have talk any about VR? Box office movies, anything? Yeah, no one cares about movies. Well, like that, that that was just I threw that in there as a question, um, because they're now they're starting to come out with a lot of uh, virtual reality standalone headsets. So, I would as people that. I don't know if you guys are that into VR or whatever. I was just wondering what how, what direction you guys thought they were gonna try to take take this in, or or if it'll even if it'll stay as a gimmick forever, or it'll eventually change. I personally, or what. I, I I feel as though VR will stay as a gimmick for maybe at least another five to ten years. I mean, I'm I can I can agree with that. I'm I'm I, interested you, in VR just because like party games like if, if you like when i say party games i don't mean like a bunch of other people playing it with you at the same time i mean like there's a picture man. you know just just oh yeah just you you know party with other people around you i i guess like it, you get more no immersive. that okay that i as someone by the way that had vr i i returned it because i it was starting to get good it was a good headset but i was still somewhat disappointed about a few things about it um I feel like it's still not ready, at least for me. Yeah. But yeah, um, in terms of party games or games where you're interacting with people. Yeah, if, exactly. Say if, if we all had a VR headset, that would be super fucking. That's fun. yeah. That's what. I, that's what the only reason why I would buy one is just like party games sort of thing. Is somebody that that did play with it uh, when when I'm interacting with other people, it does add another level. It it, it would have been super fun to do it with you guys. Yeah. So. But, I mean, it has potential. Yeah, I mean, I, I've heard people like one of my, one of my um, my friends who like are super into MMOs. Like he started off with WoW. He said the only way that an MMO is going to beat WoW is if it's VR. I don't think that's true. I don't think I can like game on. VR uh, like, I, well, VR VR has such insane hurdles to overcome to not be a gimmick. It's like, but I do agree with your five to ten year thing. I think in yeah. five to ten years, it. Maybe five years it'll start to be good, and ten years I think it's going to be a standard. Like it's going to change gonna be gaming, in my opinion. I think it. I think it's going to actually fucking change gaming. Period. Like the whole game. And ten years from now, I think that after using it and seeing the potential that it has, it has at least. At least I can say it has the potential to change gaming. Yeah. I can say that with a hundred percent. Yeah, it, I mean it has the potential to, but. You're thinking of it like what it is now, but they could totally iron these things out. I mean, it'll always probably be something on your face that you have to wear, but they can make it fucking way better looking. The the tech on it, lightweight, every, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, they yeah. can they can make everything about it better, um, and it'll be it'll start to feel okay for someone that's just like, eh, it's just kind of stupid to put it on their face and be like, well, it's totally worth it. And this, it could actually be the standard. I feel like, if, especially. It's mainly a software thing too. If if they had, they could easily just like if you look at fucking phones. Like after the software of phones, and or the software of phones software. ended up carry, yeah. carrying phones to, to being a total standard. I I, like think, I think it's more, more towards hardware was which is the issue, right? Well, yeah, no hardware, but but software has to bring it home. Like if yeah, you look at phones, but... the software, the way phones work now where they have everything at your fingertip mm -hmm. it's kind of like the and, and it works so well like the 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 phone developers put so much work in making it like if you, if you think about what if you if you look at 2018 you're like what about 2018 is the most futuristic thing i'd say phones but i think it's mainly because of the software yeah the phones are very fast and the screens are clear but if you if you like downgraded the software i mean sorry if you downgraded the hardware the software would still make it good like if the the phone resolution was low, the whatever it was a shitty phone, but it had the current software, the most up to date software. That that that's why they're so good. So right now, like it's kind of hard. You have to plug the shit in. It always has a cable. 
um, the software when you when you have a VR headset, it's mm-hmm. like you. It feels like you're on like a fucking or, or you're you're on some type of uh, secret what, uh, prototype or something. You have to figure everything out yourself. Yeah. Like if it, that's why these standalone ones are gonna are actually like getting kind of popular. Um. Um. Uh, what what are they called? Oculus. They came out with a, a standalone, and I'm pretty sure that's pretty popular now. It's like something you just strap on, and you ha- it doesn't connect to anything. So it's just like you put it on. It's super lightweight or whatever, and it has all the hardware in it. So yeah. you don't have to do anything. So, from the ease of it, it's more popular. So if they, if it, if the software was able to be very easy for people and it wasn't super hard to deal with, it, I could totally see it taking gaming to a whole new, becoming the standard for gaming. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see. Anyone else have any comments on VR? I think that the games just aren't there, at, like what i've seen yeah that too that, but that's back to software like yeah yeah the, the but, games aren't there the software isn't there but it's it's still not a true 3d though oh, okay. <laughs> Come down with hey. the games, dude. Hey. Uh, I, I i i don't think our podcast is uh is is broken enough for full-on fucking yell matches no i'm just kidding no, no. I, mean, <laughs> I mean it definitely is so I mean, that is that is how there. you break it in, right? Yeah, that is how you break it in. So that's gonna, that's going to be next 3D. week, though. Straight for the labia. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> all right, all right. That's all right. it's a wrap. Uh, it's a wrap. On that note, all right. Uh, so <laughs> straight to the labia, the new podcast that's, that's starting the this week. <laughs> that's the title. That's the, the title. All right, that's the title of this episode. Straight to the labia. Thank you guys for joining in. If you you know if you did listen on on live, if not, we appreciate you guys downloading the podcast or listening to it on any other streaming platforms. I would like to personally thank everybody for joining us today. Once again, my name is Simba, aka Ernest. Then there is your boy Man, Mississippi Joe. two, Mississippi one. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're very welcome. Yeah. Wait, wait. Why are you very welcome? welcome. Why, why, why are the viewers welcome again? This, this is supposed to be an outro, They're and you guys are fucking it up. <laughs> you're very no, welcome. No, I'm saying you're welcome to you. Me. Saying you are welcome because you said thank you. I wasn't talking to you guys. Oh, this is <laughs> this wow. is the worst. <laughs> How can you not thank me for my presence, dude? Uh, this all right. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thanks from Ernest, Mike, Zeke, Legendary. and Joe. Yes. Yes. Peace thank later. Yes. Wait, appreciate Joe was here. I don't know if Joe was here. Fuck him. I, I am here. I am here. He spoke about I, a quiet place. <laughs> yeah, I'm he right, spoke I'm like uh, no. He corrected me. He corrected <laughs> me once. Come up with time stamps. We, we need them. <laughs> he he, he need corrected me once on net neutrality because he got triggered, and then after that, he just like escaped back into his cave like the troll that he is. <laughs> <laughs> I better not hear any whispering of deep state Obamas. Oh my god! I'm, I'm, I'm so, no, like like in post production, I'm just gonna add them. Joe, um, yeah. do me a favor and say deep state yes. three times. A deep state. A deep state.